Chow, Japanese, Chow are fictional life forms in the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series published by Sega. They are small, childlike creatures that go through a complex life cycle and exist in several visual forms depending on how they are raised. Developer Sonic Team incorporated Chow into the games to encourage players to explore levels and support the good-evil dichotomy of Sonic Adventure 2. Chow have appeared in many games in the series, beginning with Sonic Adventure in 1998. They usually take the form of digital pets, but have also played parts in the story and figured into other gameplay elements. Most notably, the character Cream the Rabbit has a Chow named Cheese, whom she uses to attack enemies. They have also appeared in games outside the series, the Sonic the Hedgehog comics, and the Sonic X anime, as well as being featured in promotions and merchandise. Critics have given mixed opinions on Chow and their integration into Sonic gameplay, generally praising their worth as a diversion but criticizing Chow minigames' low interactivity. Conception and characteristics Sonic Team's Takashi Iazuka stated in an interview with video game publication OneUp.com that Chow were incorporated into Sonic Adventure, "...so that new players would be forced to go out, explore the action sections, and find flickies and things." Chow were designed as a "...relative neutral entity." in this game. However, to remain consistent with the good-evil dichotomy of Sonic Adventure 2, they were designed so that the player could raise them as Hero Chow or Dark Chow. Chow were given the ability to socialize and interact in Sonic Adventure 2 in order to make the game unique, and to more resemble a real artificial life form. Chow are small creatures with a pudding-like body and behave much like human infants, with pleasant and relaxing personalities. Professor Chow, a minor character in Sonic Adventure 2, states that Chow are cute, and enjoy toys and being held or petted. However, they dislike being held while the player jumps, spins around, or throws them. Chow's diets consist of tree fruit and coconuts. Chow hatch from eggs found in Chow gardens. When the player spends enough time with a chow in the chow garden, the chow develops a cocoon, it hatches from this as an adult. Eventually it develops another cocoon. If the chow has been treated well, the cocoon is pink and the chow is reincarnated as an egg, the cycle then restarts and the chow remembers the player. If, however, the chow has been treated poorly, the cocoon is gray and the chow dies, removing every trace of itself from the game. Chow can breed to produce fertile eggs. Topic: Appearances. Topic in video games: Chow have appeared in numerous Sonic the Hedgehog video games as digital pets. They made their first appearance in the 1998 Dreamcast game Sonic Adventure. The player can raise them, enter them in races, and export them to Chow Adventure, a game for the Dreamcast's VMU peripheral. The player can also trade Chow or post their high scores online using the Dreamcast's internet capabilities. The Chow raising feature was expanded in Sonic Adventure 2. Chow may become Hero Chow or Dark Chow depending on whether the game's hero characters Sonic the Hedgehog, Miles Tails Prower, and Knuckles the Echidna or Dark characters Shadow the Hedgehog, Dr. Eggman, and Rouge the Bat are nicer to them. Chow can enter karate competitions in this game as well as racing. The Game Boy Advance GBA games Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2, and Sonic Pinball Party feature a tiny Chow Garden, similar to the Chow Gardens of Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 but with minigames in place of racing and karate competitions. Chow can be transferred between Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Sonic Adventure DX, Director's Cut, Nintendo GameCube ports of Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure, and the GBA games featuring a tiny Chow Garden. Unusually, a generic Chow is an unlockable character in the party game Sonic Shuffle. Chow have also appeared in the series as minor characters and gameplay elements. 
Two Chow, one normal and one dark, who drive Chow styled mechas are playable characters in the two player battle mode of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. On the Sonic the Hedgehog styled pinball board in Sonic Pinball Party, one of the player's objectives is to hatch several Chow eggs. Each world in the 2004 GBA game Sonic Advance 3 features Chow inspired minigames to earn extra lives for the player, and a side quest that involves finding Chow to obtain Chaos Emeralds. 2007's PlayStation Portable installment Sonic Rivals 2 hides Chow throughout levels to be found in a free play mode. In the 2008 Nintendo DS role-playing game Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood, Chow eggs are hidden throughout the in-game universe for the player to find and hatch. The resulting infant Chow can be equipped to characters. This affects the character's performance in battle, for example, one kind will increase the character's hit points. The game features a multiplayer mode in which Chow can be traded between players who each have a copy of the game. Chow take the form of an item in the panel flip party game of the 2009 Wii and DS game Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Each player's object is to claim as many panels as possible in a 6x6 grid. Finding a Chow upon flipping a panel claims all panels in a given row or column for the player. One mission in Sonic Generations 2011 involves racing against Cream the Rabbit to collect lost Chow in a city location. Cream, a prominent character in the series, has a Chow named Cheese as a partner. In a move to keep her image safe, she often uses him to attack enemies instead of doing so herself. Other notable Chow include Chaos, Guardian of the Chow, who serves as an antagonist in Sonic Adventure, Omo Chow, a robotic Chow who appears in several games as a means of player tutorial, and Chocola, Cheese's twin whom Cream, Amy Rose, and Big the Cat search for over the course of Sonic Heroes. Chow have also made appearances in video games outside the Sonic the Hedgehog series. In the 2004 PlayStation 2 game Sega Superstars, the player uses points earned during the game to please a pet Chow. Marking the introduction of the character Sonic the Hedgehog to the 2008 Wii game Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Chow and other characters from the Sonic the Hedgehog series appear as collectible trophies and stickers, they also appear as trophies in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U and as spirits in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In other media Chow were recurring characters in the Sonic X anime that ran from 2003 to 2006. In the episode, Little Chow Lost, Cheese becomes lost while swimming in a stream. The main characters find him at the stream's end, in a Chow colony, where Dr. Eggman shows up to steal a supposed Chaos Emerald from them until he is defeated. Later on, in Flood Fight, a colony of Chow appears after a battle with Chaos, they turn out to be Chaos' old friends and embrace it as it leaves with Takal the Echidna to return to the past. Chow have also made occasional appearances in Archie Comics' Sonic the Hedgehog comic book series. They debuted in an Sonic Adventure based story arc, where they work together with Takal to defeat Chaos. At one point, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles find a Chow garden and one Chow followed Sonic home, and after spending time around his roboticized father came to resemble Omo Chow. However, Eggman destroys the garden, and the Chow migrate to a lake. Much later, Cream and her mother Vanilla protect a frightened but incompetent group of Chow from Eggman's assistant, Snively. Cream's friend Amy Rose realizes they are the same group from the lake and, to Cream's delight, suggests that the lake can be converted to a chow garden. Following the comic reboot, Cheese continued to accompany Cream while Chocola was revealed to live with her mother Vanilla and Gemmel from Sonic Advance 3. The heroes would also discover a Chow garden hidden in an undersea cavern whose inhabitants included an ancient Chow named Aquarius and a guard dog like Chow named Crusher. Reception and impact Chow and the Chow Raising System have received generally positive reviews. 
In a review of Sonic Adventure, GameSpot's Peter Bartholo stated that, "...with the Chow breeding simulation and the minigames, Sonic offers much more beyond the completion of its story." IGN stated that, "...SA more than has the extras department covered." This enthusiasm was extended to IGN's reviews of Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Advance, and Sonic Adventure DX, Director's Cut. GameSpot's Shane Satterfield was critical of the Chow raising feature in Sonic Adventure 2, Battle, stating that, "...there's little in the way of interactivity," and that, "...the Chow training aspect using the Game Boy Advance is little more than a novelty." However, Gamespy's Shane Bettenhausen praised the feature in the game, comparing Chow to Tamagotchi Digital Pets. GameSpot's Frank Provo noted the appeal to "...those people who might only enjoy pinball in passing." that Chow brought to Sonic Pinball Party. 1UP.com's Chris Baker called the Chow feature in Sega Superstars, "...ultimately worthless but some might find it amusing." In a review of Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood, GameSpot's Shiva Stella praised the level of strategy that the game's Chow system added. Destructoid's Jim Sterling voiced a similar opinion, although saying that Chow had been rubbish. In previous games, a Chow keychain was released as part of a Sonic X character keychain series. Between July 27 and September 8, 2002, Sega hosted events at Tokyo-based department stores to promote upcoming Sega video games. Attendees could download Chow Mini Garden S and exclusive Chow to their copies of Sonic Advance. Chow clothing clips, along with accessories based on other Sega characters, were available. Chow's notability extends beyond the Sonic series and related media. Mary Jane Irwin of IGN used Chow Program to describe Pokemon Channel in her review of the game. Topic. See also. Wisps. Slime Dragon Quest Toad Mario